a Poundland USB vacuum cleaner. Now I have to say I, I don't really favour the idea of plugging high current draw motorised devices into your USB port, but you know what, let's uh, find out how much current this thing draws and how effective it is. So I've got the little pink power supply here and a current tester. So we'll uh, plug it in. And it's got a button. That's a good start. <laughs> oh, that's so <a> shit. <laughs> right. Well, that really sucks. <laughs> okay. Right, it's it's just failed at the first hurdle. The little LED isn't lighting either, so uh, let's uh, open it up, shall we? It comes with... oh, blame it. Yeah, all right, that comes off. Right, well, I've, I've changed my mind. That would actually pose absolutely no problems for your computer at all, owing to the fact it doesn't draw any current. Well, that's a little uh, O-ring holding that thing on. So let's pop that little O-ring out if we can. Now am I even going to be able to get down to that screw because it's quite far down and may have to use this butchering device. So what's it going to have? Um, probably not an awful lot. It may just be a motor that's been chosen to run fairly low current at uh, 5 volts. There is a little circuit board. Oh, there's a little switch on top. Okay, was that the switch that turns it on by any chance? I didn't see that before. Uh, let's uh, try that again then, shall we? Oh, that is it. So it works. Oh, it's got the option of just the light. Off, light, and what's the this for? Oh right, oh right, that's a boost button. Oh, right, okay. So the standard current is about 450 milliamps. When this thing comes back. 450, press the boost button, it goes to about an amp. I think that's just resistors controlling that. Let's uh, investigate this further. Well, at least it works. And it was my error that uh, saw that that didn't see that switch, so let's uh, take this out. There's a transistor. A button. Now, the button... Is that actually a current regulator? So, there's the negative, which goes straight out to the motor. Positive goes via the switch and either switches to the LED and a resistor or to the other position which is um, going down to the other side of the button. So I'm guessing that may actually be... Could it be even a regulator? Let's take a look at that component through a microscope and see if I can see what it is. It's a 3.3 volt regulator by the look of it. That makes sense, really. Okay, and that means that um, when you first turn it on without that button pressed, it's going through a little 3 volt regulator, and when you press the button, um, it shorts the regulator out completely, it just bypasses it.
Yeah, it does appear to be what it is, although there's that little extra resistor there. What's that for? Not 100% sure. Unless it's an initial current limiter attached that takes on the dissipation from the regulator. Not 100% sure about that. Or it might be a resistor in series with the... Ah, not 100% sure. Really not sure at all. There's a diode in there as well. Hmm, I may have to scribble this out. I think I shall pause and scribble this out. I'm back and eating even more humble pie because that was not a voltage regulator. It's a transistor. It had the number 33 in it, which uh, made me think initially it was a 3.3 volt regulator, but it's actually an S8050 and the data sheet for the S8050 shows it's a fairly generic high current um, 700 milliamp uh, NPN transistor. Now, the way it's being used, if you ignore this side of the circuitry, this is the motor circuitry here which basically has the transistor in series the motor with the motor actually on its emitter as opposed to its collector and then a 330 ohm resistor and that's dropping the, the voltage across the motor it's, I don't, I'm guessing it's some sort of, sort of crude current limiter is the only way I can really describe it it doesn't look like a voltage regulator it doesn't even look like a current regulator it just looks like they're kind of just biasing the transistor enough to actually limit the current to about half the um, to about that 450 milliamps very odd and when you press the boost button all it does is short out the transistor hmm, very odd uh, I'm, I've not come across such a weirdly simple circuit I think it is just a butchered circuit but uh, if you have any other ideas then leave them in the comments below However, the rest of the circuitry is this. You've got the 5 volt come in and a switch that can either be in the off position or it can be on the LED position. And if it's in the LED position, it just powers up an LED and resistor. And it does so. It's a 68 ohm resistor, so the LED passes about 30 milliamps. When you turn it to the uh, on position, it still feeds the diode, but it does, through this, does so through this basic sort of signal diode, um, which means it drops about 0.6 volts and the current the voltage across the uh, the current through the LED probably drops to around about 20 milliamps, but it'll probably be less because the voltage will be pulled down by the high current this is drawing. Um, and that's really it. So when you turn it into vacuum mode, it's basically it's feeding this circuit to run the motor, and it's also feeding the uh, LED through the diode. And I've tried it out. I've I've played around under the bench with it. Oh, that doesn't sound right. And I've, it sucks up small bits of plastic um, component leads and fluff and crumbs of stuff. So, you know, it's actually not too bad. It's only really effective when you put it into turbo mode. Um, and I don't think I'd really want to use it in a computer. You might end up with errors in the computer, you know, saying something's malfunctioning the USB port. But certainly on, on a USB power supply that's capable of handling it, it seems to not too bad. Oh, it's worth mentioning, the transistor is air-cooled because while I was playing about with it, it got red hot because it was operating as a resistor and quite a high current. Let's see, what was the dissipation of that? Uh, I measured about 450 milliamps, 0.45 times, and it was dropping about 2.5 volts. Uh, yeah, it was dissipating over a watt, that transistor which is quite a lot for one of those little T092 packages. But it is air-cooled, so as the I'm, I'm saying it's air-cooled. Now I'm looking at this, the air blows out the side here so it isn't air-cooled. Oh, that's even worse then. Okay, it's just lost some brownie points there. I thought that it was actually in the air path, but it's not. Oh, that transistor's going to get very hot. But then again, I think I'd recommend that if you use this, just use it in turbo mode and use it on a USB power bank. Um, yes, it's, it's well up to the up to the standards I was expecting.